Um, there is radon in my home that I, I purchased with a USDA loan and um, the sellers knew about the radon and the mold in the crawl space and that the crawl space was piled with dirt all the way to the ceiling and that, that dirt comes through the, gets sucked up through the furnace pipes and comes out through the ventilation system into the home. And me and my dog have been breathing in that dirt that comes through the ventilation system and the mold and, and uh, the radon and that stuff causes cancer and um, disease. And um, I recently had to take my dog to the vet and spend about $400. He's on two months worth of prednisone because he is very ill. Um, I've been getting ill and he's been getting ill over and over again for the whole two years I've been living here. Um, I'm trying to take the uh, sellers of the home to court and they keep refusing the court papers. Um, they don't want to be liable for what they've caused to us, the illness and ripping us off. And um, you know, they keep refusing the court papers so I can't take them to court. Um, they, they don't want to be liable for it at all. Uh, Human Services does not want to assist with making my home livable. Uh, nobody really cares if I die from it um, or my dog does. I live in a home or an apartment in Taobi, Minnesota and um, in this county and uh, got nodules in my lungs from mold being in the apartment and the county just left me in that apartment too. And, and Section 8 did not regulate the landlord and my uh, emotional support dog, Harley, died from the mold. Um, she got very sick from it and died from it. And my family wouldn't let me live with them or anything to get me away from the mold. And uh, you know, it was very hard for me to lose my dog. I don't want to lose my dog from it happening again, my new dog. And, um, you know, nobody will help me get uh, air purifiers uh, and filters for it or anything. I purchased two uh, air conditioners for the window instead of using the central air. Uh, this has run me completely out of money uh, trying to remedy the situation. Um, people, people act like I'm lying about it. Uh, because the Youngs are rich and they own a trucking company and nobody wants to believe that rich people would do that. You know, the stigma, I'm mentally ill and, you know, I must be crazy to believe that rich people would do that. You know, rich, elegant people that own a truck line and why am I doing this to them? But, you know, I, I, every day I'm coughing and hacking and, and I go to the doctor and... You know, I have to use nebulizers every day and I'm throwing up every day and it's not obvious that I have, I'm ill from it or anything, you know, I can hardly breathe. <coughs> and, uh, and nobody cares that me and my dog are sick all the time from it and, and that I might lose my house because I have no assistance to repair the matter and that I work to get away from landlord discrimination and homelessness and worked my butt off to purchase a home to get away from homelessness uh, for uh, well over a year and then got a house and found out I was ripped off horribly and may lose my home <coughs> and everything in it. Um, <coughs> it's just, uh, you know, crazy that nobody even values <coughs> my life or my dog's life at all. And that, you know, the sellers of the home may get away with this because there's a, a Minnesota statute that uh, mandates uh, disclosure of radon and uh, things of a home that you're selling that will uh, badly affect the, the buyer of the home, negatively affect them to the point that it will really impact the quality of, of the the buyers are uh, living.